the narcissist doesn't want you to watch this. The narcissist wants to destroy everything that is good about you. They want to destroy your soul. They want to destroy everything that makes you who you are. Because they're envious of you, you have what they want. You have what they will never have. You're empathic. You have love and compassion. You experience happiness and joy, which are all things that narcissists want, which is why they will use and abuse you. And then they will discard you because they see things in you that you don't even see in yourself things that you don't pay much attention to things that they want and if they can't have it all for themselves they will try to destroy you because they're envious and jealous of you they see everything that is good about you and they want to take it from you which is why they targeted you in the first place it's the reason why they love bombed you. It's the reason why they use the push-pull tactic. Because they want to make you theirs. They want to own you like an object or a toy. They want you to belong to them. But you willingly participated in it. You chose to be with them. You may have even fallen in love with them. But they could never reciprocate those same feelings back to you. Because they never wanted to love you. They wanted you to attach to them. But they never wanted to attach to you. They were manipulating your emotions the entire time. They created an illusion of love. They pretended to care about you. But really, they wanted to destroy you. They wanted all of your time, energy and money. They wanted you to serve them. Which is why they groomed you. They prepared and trained you for the purpose of fulfilling their desires and needs. Without any intention of reciprocating anything back to you. But they will never come out and tell you that they want to destroy you. They don't want you to know that. They don't want you to watch this video. Because they want to continue playing their part. They want to continue acting like they're this good Samaritan who is trying to help you. But one day. They will no longer have any use for you. Or they may find a new target. And then they will show you who they really are. Who they've always been underneath the mask. They will treat you with contempt. They will discard you. And then the cycle starts all over again with someone else. They destroy everything in their path. Because they don't care about anyone or anything. They want to destroy you. Which is why things never end well with them. They don't give you any closure. They leave you broken and confused. Because they think it's all over for you. They've got everything they wanted from you. They made themselves look good at your expense. And they hope that after they've taken everything they wanted from you. You're not going to survive after they're gone. Because they don't wish you well. They don't feel a desire for your well-being. They don't care what happens to you. 
which is why they discarded you like a piece of trash because they didn't want you to survive they didn't want you to continue to live and exist in spite of danger and hardship they wanted to watch you go down in flames they wanted to see your blood, sweat and tears they wanted to destroy you because then you can't tell your story then you can't give your account of past events which protects their false reality it protects them from being exposed for what they are it's how they manipulate their flying monkeys and keep them under their spell because then they can control the narrative they can tell people what type of person you are because if you're no longer around you don't have a voice which is exactly what they want they don't want you to say anything they don't want to be exposed they don't want the truth to come out because then people would realize that you're not the problem they would realize that this person who portrays themselves as an angel or a saint is the problem that is why they don't want you to say anything that is why they want to destroy you that is why they don't want you to watch this because they don't want to be told what they are and they don't want anyone else to know about it because they want to continue on their path of destruction but now you know the truth about the narcissist you know something that most people don't know and anyone else who knows what you know is going to go for the same thing that you went through The narcissist wants to destroy you because they're envious of your qualities and abilities they're envious of your productivity and performance they're envious that people like and admire you because they want that for themselves which is why they're constantly thinking of ways of how to manipulate and exploit you so that they can take pride and pleasure in your notable achievements While a normal person would focus on trying to be productive, they would focus on trying to contribute. But the narcissist is thinking of gaining an advantage over you. They're thinking of destroying you. So that they can take credit for your accomplishments and success. By using you involuntarily for their own support and encouragement for the furtherance of the venture so that they can move to a higher position and level at your expense when you stand up for yourself the narcissist will try to shut you down because you've told them that their behavior is not acceptable and they don't like it they don't want to accept it but there's no point talking to them about it there's no winning with the narcissist there's no opportunities for advancement they're just going to take advantage of you which is why the best thing you can do is grey rock or go no contact because now you have the education you understand how they operate you understand that they want to destroy you and they may try to hoover you but it's only because they want your supply it fuels them it keeps them going and they're checking if you're still alive they're checking if they've destroyed you they're monitoring your pain and suffering they're seeing if you've managed to recover and move on and if you have managed to do that they will come back they will try to get a little more out of you they will try to finish the job they will try to destroy you once and for all because that's their goal when they try to come back to you 
They're not coming back to engage in unity and harmony. They're not coming back because they love you or miss you. They're coming back because they've realized that they didn't completely destroy you the first time, which is why you should never respond to the Hoover attempts. Because although they may act like they don't know what they did wrong, they are fully aware of their actions and the effect that it's having on you. They want to destroy you. From the moment they set their sights on you, you became the focus of their anger and frustration. They singled you out as the person to beat, oppose, persecute and replace. You just didn't know it. But now that you are aware of it, you need to protect yourself. You need to grey rock or go no contact. You need to block them on social media because they want to destroy you. So as long as you're in contact with them, it's not going to end well. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.